Hello there and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 with me, Stocko Gloss. How are ya? I'm very well, thank you, I hear you say. Right, we um, we basically broke down in the snow in the previous episode. Um, we asked uh, Mr. AA Man to come and help us out. Tow us to uh, back to Plymouth and uh, wait for this snow to clear. And that's exactly what he's done. Um, we have got 11% damage. Uh, we are very, very tired. We've got no fuel. So we're in a pretty uh, beat up. Uh, place at the moment. Never mind. Let's uh, let's go sort that out straight away then, shall we? <sighs> yes, I know. Very tired. Out of fuel. And let's uh, hope, hope we don't hit that building. Oh, there's a boat. There we go. So I think the uh, the garage is is to the right here, and I hate this arch. Oh. Uh, you two can wait. Yeah, we're okay. We've got no trailer on, so that's fine. Let's get up for this uh, focus. FedEx Express. Uh, I was going to say, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, mod light. Uh, I noticed. I got rid of some of the mods that were uh, affecting the snow. You know, you wouldn't believe how many mods there was just to make it snowy. Uh, have the, the Coca-Cola truck. Um... So yeah, I got rid of all that, and I noticed I haven't got many mods actually activated at all. So uh, I know a few of you have, uh, have sent me messages on Facebook and Twitter about some mods on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you very much. I'm going to look into them. Uh, by the next episode, we should have some some new mods, and I'll try and remember to put a link in the description. I'm uh, I'm pretty poor at that. I I, I know. Sorry. Uh, I know you're tired. Just wait. There we go. So we'll uh, enter the paint shop. Okay, truck maintenance and repair service. What's wrong with us? Okay, the engine's knackered, the transmission's knackered. Okay, we're, we're in a pretty bad shape. Let's repair that all. Perfect. If only it was easy as that in real life. You just press a button and your car's fixed. I'm not going to upgrade, but what I am going to do is I'm going to give myself a better paint job, I think. And the one that really... I quite like this wavy one, but instead of having that horrible blue maybe change it to yeah I quite like that so we're gonna go for that 6400 money well spent right now we're gonna we're gonna rest rest our weary head Ooh. we're gonna rest up and then we're gonna find a job and earn some money is that sound E enter we are getting some rest. I love the way it, 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 it lets you know that you're getting some rest. Right, let's uh, let's jump into that. So I've got cables everywhere. Uh oh. Game. Okay, we're back. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, luckily, it wasn't too far into the uh, into the episode, and I can quickly uh, catch back up. Okay, so we're looking for a job. We've just rested. Uh, let's have a look at the freight market. Okay, we are in. Plymouth and uh, got two pages right we can go to Stuttgart which is all the way down there I'm looking for a little one today I'm not uh, looking to go uh, way 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 away I've got Milano Milano uh, Geneva oh, that might be a nice uh, nice run uh, Cologne Hanover Rhymes and rhymes. Hmm. Where is that one? Geneva. I think we're gonna go for that one. So let's uh we're gonna take some cheese from Euro Goodies to Sal Plan. Yeah. So we set that as a GPS location. Let's make our move. We may run out of fuel on the way there, but uh never mind. Worst things happen at sea. Like deadliest catch. <laughs> uh, right. Stay green. Stay green. Thank you. Oh, it's nice to go normal speed again. That snow mod. It was great. It was just like it restricted you. It was too realistic, I suppose. You know. Um, there was me sort of whinging about it in the last episode, and a lot of people were like, "Well, yeah, it's gonna happen like that, isn't it?" Because. Uh, You've um, 
you're driving in the snow. Okay, where have I got to go? Uh, turn in here. There you go. There's my DHL trailer. Or one of them. Big McDonald's sign. Cheese. Maybe it's for their uh, Big Mac. Enter. Okay, I'd like to go to Geneve, please. I hope I'm uh, saying that correctly. That's as far down south as we've been. Uh, we've been to Torino and all that. I'm not sure. I think we have, actually. But uh, we haven't never been to Geneve, so we'll we're, we're, we're take that job. Your trailer is ready. Please pass go. Collect £200. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay. T. Let's have a look at it then. Oh, lovely. That's quite funky with our new, uh, our new paint scheme. Yeah. I quite like the look of that. Right. Let's go. We're on our way to Geneva. I can't remember if Geneva is in France or Italy. It's very close to Italy, I think, but it may be in France. Or it's. Whoa! Wow, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Go, car! We're damaged already. We only left. We literally haven't left where we picked up our. Uh... Wow. She was angry. Where was I going? Oh. I'll change my mind. I don't want to go to Geneva. Let's go to Southampton instead. Just down the road. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Right. We're on our way. So, uh, a, f a few things have changed while we're uh, we're off for the holidays. Uh, I've got a new mic. Hopefully you guys can, can hear the better quality. It should be better quality. It's a Blue Yeti. And um, it had uh, really, really good reviews. It's one of the you know the best professional USB mics out there. So hopefully you guys will see the benefits of that. And this is my voice. <laughs> if somebody uh, sort of leaves a message saying, "Oh, I prefer his other voice. His other voice sounds better." <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I'm still playing around with uh, some of the settings and you know, uh, like the location of the mic and stuff like that. I might do a little video if you guys want to see my my little setup now. It's it's a little bit different to what you've seen before. Um, is it 30 long here or 40? Yeah, we're okay. Um, then uh, let me know and I'll I'll, I'll do a little uh, I'll do a little video. But um. God, what is about this game? It makes me yawn. Uh, what else has changed? I've got a new mouse uh, for Christmas and a new mouse mat to go with it. Um, it's a, for the peeps that care, uh, it's just a mouse. Uh, it's a Corsair M65 Vengeance, I think. Uh, and it's got a Corsair mouse mat as well with it. So that was fairly nice. Um, what else? Um, oh, I, I was sport for Christmas. Um, well, it's a bit difficult this this year because we're going through a bit of a, a weird time. Uh, we have a, a family, a very close family member who isn't very well um, and isn't going to get better. Uh, so it's a real difficult time uh, for us at the moment. Uh, we're, we're up then the uh, the hospital uh, pretty much every day. Uh, I've been trying to squeeze videos in and trying to be as uh, happy and, and uh, as I possibly can be, <laughs> considering the, uh, the predicament that we're in. But um, so yeah, we got we got that as well uh, to deal with, and uh, and I'm just doing my best to try and juggle everything. We haven't really had a, a, a what we call a traditional Christmas. Um, you know, even at Christmas Day, we was in the hospital, so it's just been. Um, a bit diff it's a difficult period for for me and the wife and, and the rest of the family so but saying that um i was spoilt you know we have done presents and stuff and um i think 
I think people are trying to say that um, that I smell because you know you get a bit of a. Don't get me wrong, I love having deodorant for Christmas. <laughs> But um, when like everybody buys you deodorant for Christmas, <laughs> you start to worry. Um, no, I, I think it's because uh, I'm, I'm a fairly difficult person to uh, to buy for. I guess you know, there's only certain clothes or certain makes that I tend to wear, um, and uh, it's the best bet. You know, just get me some nice uh, aftershave or or some deodorant or socks and pants and that type of thing. Um, I think it's uh, just a, a, a safe bet for me, uh, but yeah, no, I've, I've had a, I've had a good Christmas considering, and um, I'm looking looking forward to the sort of the new year and uh, seeing what exciting things can come from the new year. Uh, so, uh, in the comments down below, uh, put your funniest Christmas present. You know, um, every, every year, like my, my sister, she she buys. Whoa, that car in there. Did you see that? Okay, re rewind. Rewind the video and watch that car get air on that uh, on that little bump in the road. That car is awesome. Um yeah, my sister, she uh, she gives me um uh, a Lynx set every Christmas. Like literally since she was um 6, I think. You know, I've had this the same Lynx Africa Lynx um you know, you got the children and the uh, and 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 the wash uh, in, in a gift set. So she gets me other things as well, but it's just a, a bit of a joke present that she always gets me every Christmas. And in return, I've always given her um, jelly tots. I <laughs> know oh, it's weird, but uh, that's what that's what we do. Um, my my brother, he, he's a whoa, slow down. He's a he's a fussy. He's uh, probably more fussy than I am, so we tend to give uh, give my brother money, and uh, he does what he wants with it. Normally, he goes out with his mates and, uh, and spends it on the beer, which uh, you can't blame him. A single lad, that's uh, that's the norm. But yeah, it's been a fairly uh, a fairly good Christmas. I hope uh, you've all had a great Christmas as well. Let's get out of this lane. So as I said, yeah, the mods is um is uh, looking a bit light at the moment. So we something we need to uh, get some decent mods. Now the mods I'm I'm I'm, oh, I'm interested in. I do like the trailer mods. You know the different companies, the different um, I don't know. It just seems more dyna more dynamic when you've got a lot of um, different companies that you're work you know that you're uh, moving for. You know like our DHL lorry um, trailer. You know, seeing other DHL, oh, you know, Royal Mail, and good. So other lorries. Um, we got a few, I know, but uh, it'd be quite nice to have a few more. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for a decent mod for me. Be much appreciated. And oh, what a beautiful day it is in uh, in sunny England along the coast. Look, and you can see the sea. Oh, this whoa. <gasps> That's got to be close. You can see the sea. We haven't seen the sea before. Um, well, not in the game anyway. So we're along the coast roads. South. This is the south of England. It could be Dover over there, could it? The White Cliffs of Dover. Oh, is that a ferry? Oh, it's a cargo ship. Wow. Well, that looks awesome, doesn't it? That's massive. Um, yeah, talking about uh, the weather in England. It's been, uh, been a pretty poor... Uh, holiday period. It's just been raining and really, really, really windy. Um, and I think it's going to be like that for a little while. So I'm sorry if you can hear the the, the rain battering against the wind at uh, the window at the moment. It's uh, yeah. I I feel sorry for the dog. <laughs> you know she. She goes out. Uh, we let her out and go on then go busy. We call it busy when they want to go to the toilet, you know, in the back garden. Go on then go busy, and the, and the, you open the back door, and the dog just looks at me thinking, I ain't getting out of there. I'll I'll hold it in. <laughs> it's not that urgent, honestly. <laughs> it just sits at you know in the door, just looking out, smelling. Oh oh gosh. Oh we're out of fuel. I forgot to stop. Um. Well, what what what. Oh, uh, what, what, what do we do? No, 
Call assistance. Enter. Assistance could take you and your truck to Plymouth. It will cost. No. I don't want to go back to Plymouth. Uh, I can't remember. I forgot to fill up. No. Is there any other way I can do it? Uh, F8. Uh, oh, this is embarrassing. Um, okay, we're gonna have to call the assistant. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this, isn't we? Yes, give me some fuel. Are you gonna give me any fuel? Do I get a full tank of uh, fuel for that? Okay, at least we're. Uh, how much fuel have we got? We got a little bit. Well, that was a pain. What I might do is I might uh, pause it until we get back on that coastal road. Okay, we're back on the coastal road. <laughs> The uh, the cargo ship has actually uh, moved since we last went past. So <laughs> I cannot believe I ran out of fuel. I have filled up on the way here, so we're good to go. Although we might get a, like a a late penalty or something, a late delivery penalty, because that just cost us a, a couple of hours. Don't never run out of fuel before. So there you go, 2014, and I'm uh, still a derp. <laughs> I don't think that'll change. So yeah, I kind of forgot what we was uh, we was all talking about. Or when I say we was all, uh, what I was talking about. Uh, it's quite funny because I'm still getting comments on some of my videos like, um, "Oh my god, you scared me!" or uh, "I crashed." You know when I sh shouted, uh, "Oh my god, look at that!" <laughs> A lot of people are still, uh, yeah, still suffering from that. That was uh, that was quite funny. I'm still getting some great comments about that. <laughs> I think somebody said he uh, he quickly looked on his other screen, and uh, he crashed in the Euro Truck Simulator 2, doing 89% damage to his truck. <laughs> so uh, a big LOL to you. Easy done though. I'll tell you, just a little bit of lack of con concentration can uh, can really hurt in this game. That's a sneaky yawn. I don't know if you can hear that. This microphone picks up everything. I am... Um, basically, I was talking to Durr over on uh, TeamSpeak with it. And Durr's like, oh, what's that? Like? That's like a humming sound. Uh, I think you can hear it in my Feed the Beast uh, episode 2 of Monster. Uh, it's like a, a loud, like a, just a, a dull sort of sound. Didn't sound anything like that, but y y you get my drift. Um... And it was from my computer, believe it or not. Because on my desk, remember the setup video? I've got the computer behind my monitor. So um, I've got the monitor in front of me, the computer behind that. And it's on the same desk. Now, I think, I don't know whether it was... Um, because this microphone picks up the vibration noises from the desk where the computer was on, where all the fans were in and stuff, and, and it was causing the, that sound. Or it's because the computer was like the same level as the microphone um, and it could be picking up some of the sounds of the uh, computer into the microphone so I was playing around with it I, I moved the computer here I moved the computer there and in the end I um, put the computer in the garage uh, I'm only joking no um, I basically what I've done is where my filing cabinet was I've um, I've moved I'm looking <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at the computer but I moved the filing cabinet and I put a little table there and I put the computer on a table um, so I don't like putting uh, computers on the floor um, I think uh, all the stuff that's on the floor it all the fans and things it picks it up and you know it gets inside the computer so I'm not a big fan of that I like to have the computer off the floor um, as much as possible and not only that you get better you know you get better air circulation as well so uh, yeah it's on the little table uh, next to me uh, I didn't realize how big the computer stack is but uh, the actual case is huge 
So uh, yeah, it's over there, uh, and I've got the uh, green GeForce GTX 780 staring at me, uh, doing some funny stuff, you know, glowing in and out, in and out, just catching the corner of my eye. So I might have to change that because uh, you can change it like, how the light, you know, you can have it flashing or you can have it sort of it dull, or or you can turn the uh, the lights off the GeForce GTX. But I, I quite like it. But it's just catching me in the corner of the eye every time uh, I tend to look that way and. Can get on your nerves. Hey, I'm yawning again. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm not tired. I really am not tired. Um, yeah, thinking back to the hospital till late last night, but uh, still, I had a good seven, eight hours kip. In a weird way, I'm, I'm looking forward to going back to work. You know, a bit of normality. Um, it's it's you know with with a break and the problems that we've had and and you know just uh you know just to get back to normal i suppose is uh is a good thing um what else has been going on that's about it really oh i've had some horrible horrible computer problems on our feed the bee series with uh dur um we uh well, what it was, the the game crashed on me, so uh, I thought, oh, right, okay, games do crash, it happens, you know, you, you just got to suck it up and go, right, okay, reload it, um, but I couldn't log back into the uh, Unleashed. <sighs> Gosh, I should I stop yawning, I apologise. Um, so I couldn't log back into Unleashed. Now, I can get into Monster, okay? So I click on Monster. So the Java must be working, okay? And, and um, So you thought, right, okay, it must be the Unleashed folder. There must be like a bit of a corruption. So you had me, Dur, Das and Fad all on TeamSpeak trying to work out why my computer wouldn't load Unleashed. Now, I deleted the Unleashed folder uh, and I reinstalled... <sighs> You're not tired already. You <laughs> We've just slept. Oh, it's going to make me yawn again, isn't it? Damn you! Um, yeah, so uh, we uh, I, I deleted the Unleashed folder. Uh, if you click on in the Feed the Beast launcher, you click on um, Unleashed uh, and uh, launch, it basically installs the uh, all the mod packs again for you. So I thought, well, it might, might be a bit of a corruption in the Unleashed folder. I'll reinstall it and put the uh, texture pack in there and stuff and it, you know Bob's your uncle I'll be back in no it kept crashing and oh it was driving us mad we, we changed everything the launcher I reinstalled Java whatever we do it would not load unleashed and then um, we noticed that I didn't have a config file in the uh, in the unleashed folder and it wasn't uh, generating the config file so, um, so Dura sent me his config file. As soon as I put that in there, it worked. So uh, we had a bit of bit of trouble with that, but um, yeah, we got there in the end. Mustn't grumble. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have uh, you'll see the benefit of these little update upgrades I've done. Um, I think the the microphone is definitely. Uh, you know, you guys should be able to see some benefit on the. Uh, on the on the microphone, it's just um, I'm using Camtasia now to do my editing on my videos. Like you're in the bottom uh, right hand side, you should see uh, a little uh, dog lo my logo. Um, I quite like the watermark on my videos. Uh, that's all done through uh, Camtasia. So a lot of my editing, the audio, the 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 video, and everything else, will be all done through um, Camtasia. Now, when I was listening to myself talk on Camtasia. Um, it sounded horrible. The microphone, the microphone that I was using on my um, my headset, which is the uh, Turtle Beach Z7s, it it didn't sound quite right. Uh, and I see what you guys are on about. Um, I didn't notice it before because I, I, my old editing software wouldn't let me preview or separate the audio and the and you know it it just. Um, I mean, we need to sleep soon. I just basically press edit edit this edit that and then publish boom done 
Um, now it comes easy, lets you listen to everything that you're doing, and I oh, just listened to it, and it just didn't sound quite right. So that was a, a, a big thing for me then. I thought, right, I need to get this sorted. 2014, you know, you're going to see a, a more, still the same derp, still me, but uh, hopefully a better, better sounding, better looking videos. Um, I'm just trying to improve all the time for you peeps, you know. Um, you, know, you guys deserve it, so uh, uh, if I'm in a position to do it, then I will. Um, ah, services 200 yards, brilliant. Uh, yeah, so so I've done that. Hopefully, this mic you should be able to see a, a big step in uh, step up in quality. And with the Camtasia as well, um, it's quite funny because Das is trying her hardest to uh, to teach me <laughs> how to use this thing, and. Uh, Yeah, <laughs> it's taking a while. All right, E enter. Okay, so we need some sleep. Yeah, so it's uh, it's, it's taking a little while for me to uh, to get my head around it, but um, I'll get there. And you'll know, you'll see some amazing editing skills with a Z. We're gonna be well late, aren't we? Sorry, bus. We're going to be late. Ooh. Okay. So we go into port and then we head off, uh, I think, across France to Geneva. Geneva. Is it Geneva? It could be Geneva. I keep calling it Geneva. Oh, 61 miles an hour. Wow. This uh, new pink job is really working out for me. <laughs> what time is it? It's uh, 4.41 in the morning. It's quite nice actually because it's not dark. It's just coming up sunshine. The break of dawn. And it looks quite nice. So the multiplayer, what have you guys heard about uh, from SES on Euro Truck Simulator 2 and the multiplayer? We was actually talking about it the other day in TeamSpeak and um, what what they're worried about really is people um, causing accidents, blocking the roads, you know, just, just being basically disruptive and and the good thing is, is that um, the, I think this is what I heard. I don't know 100%. Um, what SCS are going to do is they're going to have some type of like smart system in their multiplayer, and then if they see somebody, um, you know, causing trouble, causing traffic jams, you know, uh, ramming people, they just move them to another server. So I think w w you have like different levels of you know of server. So you have like um, where the people actually play properly you know go towards a higher level server and then the people who are disruptive who crash and and um, you know ruin the game for others they go down to the lower servers I think from what I hear that is going to be uh, what's going on uh, like I say please don't take my word for it I'm only hearing this second hand so but it, it kind of makes sense and and I, I suppose I was a little bit skept skeptic uh, of the multiplayer for Euro Truck Simulator 2 what I would love is everybody to have like you know I don't know, a team stucco gloss or something, you know, where we'd take over the roads and uh, make me loads of money so I don't have to do anything. No, um, it will, uh, I think it'd be great, you know, like being part of a company, uh, let's move shit for you, which is uh, our company, and um, see if we can take over the, uh, take over the world. Like if you see somebody uh, in in one of a, like a stucco gloss truck or something, can Maybe we can design our own skin for a trailer or something, you know, and give each other some uh, billy beeps and a wave. Oh, speeding. Well, we've got to make up some time, so I'm not uh, going to slow down. So give each other some billy beeps and uh, and a wave. And it'd be quite nice as well to have like a, maybe a CB radio type thing as well. I don't know whether any of this has been um, confirmed or not, but, you know, you breaker breaker, red truck seven. This is... Big Stocko nine, I don't know, and uh, yeah, you, you get the drift, and and do some talking that way. So I th I think that'd be yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, 
so I, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what, what they do with it because the, the possibilities are endless really you know they could do all that with it and I know they're working on the American trucker so uh, I'll be looking forward to to seeing that and playing that for you guys as well um, seeing what uh, what trucks they have in uh, in America although I can imagine I, I don't know uh, but uh, you can kind of imagine that all the roads are like really straight in America, aren't they? You know, you're just sitting on a on Route 69 and just going a straight line for uh, for like four or five hours until you get to uh, somewhere. No, my uh, my American geography is terrible. Uh, I'm not even quite sure where whether Route 69 goes north and south or east and west. I, I, I don't know. But you know, I think the roads are so massive over there. Um, It'd be interesting to see how they uh, how they tackle that. Now you're going to wait. Yeah, you're going to break and you're going to wait. Well done. Thank you very much. If we're not going plowing into the side of me, sixty along here. That's okay. We're doing uh, fifty-five. Oh, nice. We're uh, we're travelling for the day. Is that the sea again? Oh, wow. We've seen the sea twice in one episode. I think we're heading over to um, Dover, maybe to catch a train over to uh, to France. We might be catching the ferry. I don't know. That's the thing with this microphone; it picks up everything. You know, I, I, I'm thinking mm, I could do with a bit of a drink, but uh, you guys will probably hear me uh, slurping. I, I apologise in advance. I'll try and move my head away from the microphone. <laughs> I've got one of these uh, pop pop filters. Um, see, I'm still doing it. Um, I've got one of these uh, pop filters, and I don't know whether they work. Uh, I've heard that uh, you, you've got to have one. You, know, you can't have a microphone without a pop filter, apparently. Uh, hopefully, uh, you can see a difference. I'm, uh, just grabbing my drink. Come on now, let's get together and burp. 